Alright guys, so welcome back to your fifth Coco Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we are finally going to begin covering user interaction, having the user interact with a program. Yeah, that's the definition of user interaction if I had to spell it out for you. So specifically, what we're going to be covering in this tutorial is touching and touches and touch events and stuff like that. So what we're going to be building is a program that whenever the user touches a screen, the sprite slides to where they touched and continues on its way. It's a pretty cool program. Um, you guys are going to be impressed, I think. But uh, a lot of people are having errors, and when they run their iPhone simulator, they actually try to touch the their Macs with their finger, but you actually need to use the mouse and click it instead. So you can't, you know, use your finger on the iPhone simulator. you got to use your mouse. So, you know, if you're having trouble understanding that, then maybe I'll make a tutorial with that later on. But, yeah, that's what you got to do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start typing some code. You see, under this import right here, we need to import one more thing for this tutorial. Import, and that is CC, hopefully it pops up, touch, no, not handler, dispatcher, that, ah, uh, ah, oh, crap dispatcher there we go and I think I'm gonna sneeze soon am I gonna am I gonna I don't know I can't tell I think it's like a minute away right now it's like a minute 30 away right now anyways so go ahead and import that CC touch dispatcher and this pretty much uh, is the header file we need to that allows us to use touches so before we just jump right into coding our touches methods there's one more thing that we need to do we need to register this view to be able to respond to touches so here's how we do this go ahead and inside your init and inside the if statement might as well add one more line of code right here and that's this line cc touch dispatcher and put share dispatcher just like that it's basically writing itself add targeted delegate I can't even see what's going on right now alright but it looks right alright let me see add targeted delegate and this pretty much means alright we're gonna be coding a bunch of different touch methods so where are those methods and you just go ahead and press self right here and for priority don't worry about this now just go ahead and press zero and swallows touches sounds pretty gay but anyways just go ahead and put yes and this basically means um can I respond to touches or can I accept touches why they said swallows I don't know I think it's some gay joke but you know I'm not sure so now that you have that this class is able to respond to touches so go ahead and outside all of your other methods um, you know we're gonna be coding a new method right here so let me say this before I even move on now that our class is set up to receive touches there are four touches different types of ways you can touch your iPhone screen there's CC touch began, CC touch move, CC touch ended, and CC touch canceled. Touch began is when you first lay your finger on the iPhone screen. Touch moved is when you're sliding your finger. Touch ended is when you lift your finger up. And CC touch canceled is when you're like in the middle of one of these moves and like your phone rings or something, so it cancels it out. Um, a lot like the standard touches on the iPhone itself. Um, the iPhone framework but this is specific to Coco Studio so again if you remember I named four touches touch began touch move touch ended and touch canceled the touch began method is required so this has to be the first thing you always code so it's actually a boolean there we go and just name CC touch began and all of those are good by default and all we need to do in here for this tutorial is return yes since you can see right here it takes a boolean so it's expecting one back so let me make sure it's easy touch begin touch with event event good it'll pass all that along alright so again this method is always required because in order to you know get touches moved touch ended touch cancelled you need a touch to begin with so that's why this touch is required but check this out touch moved, touch ended, and touch canceled 
all of these are optional so the only thing we're going to worry about in this tutorial just for you know the sake of teaching you guys how to code one method is touch ended and this happens whenever you lift your finger off the iPhone screen so this is a void and CC touch ended just like that and keep all your parameters by default so what do we want to do whenever our touch is ended well what we want to do first is figure out where in the view did you touch so CG point in just name it location and set it equal to touch location in view looks pretty good and then for here go ahead and put touch view and if you're saying alright when you type a touch an event where are you getting this stuff from this is what is passed in right here touch an event so what this line of code right here what this means is pretty much this where in the view did you touch and take that and store it in location right here so after this what we need to do is this right now we have a point and it's stored in location but this isn't a point that we can use in order to use it we need to convert it to a GL point and these are the points that you use for drawing and moving your sprites around the screen I know you know it would be easier if they just had one type of point but they don't so what we need to do is take this location point and convert it to a point that we can use so CG point and just go ahead and type in converted location for converted point and just go ahead and do this CC director shared director thought it would pop up but you didn't you bastard alright convert to GL location and end line and what this means is pretty much this take this point right here and convert it to a point that we can use and store it in converted location easy enough and I probably got an error type in all that but and by the way I'm talking about directors and a tutorial coming up it's gonna take quite a while so that's why I'm not covering it right here so now that we have pretty much the point that we can use where we lifted up our finger let's go ahead and use that somehow let's go ahead and take that chick the hot chick that's moving on our screen already if you can remember from last tutorial and move her to this new point so chick the first thing we want to do is stop all actions and this will take it see she's moving already it'll cancel that move temporarily while we do this alright so we want to cancel anything she's doing already and we want to run a new action and that is this CC move to action with duration and just go ahead and put like one second or something and what position do you want to move to converted location just like that so let me uh, build this real quick and see my errors wow it actually succeeded I'm kind of impressed about that so check this out here's our program our chick is moving on the screen now let's go ahead I'm pressing down letting up it moves there now I'm pressing down letting up it moves there pressing down letting up it stops what she's doing and moves there so oh, I'll go behind the pig I see so that is pretty much the basics of how this works so again I talked about you're gonna need to import the use touches of course you need to import stuff all the time um, you need to register this view to be able to respond to touches and now the meat of this tutorial we get the location of wherever I clicked on the screen I take that location and convert it to a CG point that we can use I stop any movement or actions that she's already doing and I give her a new action that says this alright wherever you are move to where I clicked and that's pretty much all I'm doing pretty simple eh? and of course you click here but when you run it on your device it would be a touch so 
there you go. There's your basics of touching in Coco Studio. And again, all this director stuff and anything else you don't understand, it's just other details. I'll be covering it in later tutorials. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm gonna go buy some Doritos, and you, uh, you uh, check out my forum or buy my apps or something like that. So, uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.